Well, the MG4 is finally on its way down under. Now, MG Australia has decided to bring the top of the range, larger battery, longer range vehicle into Australia. Now, this is the first MG on SAIC's dedicated EV platform. Now, it looks like a little hot hatch, but it doesn't have the performance of one. However, it is a multi-award winner in the UK, so it has been quite popular, and it's been on the road for over a year over there. Early indications are that all's going well. It did have some problems early on with some um, oil seal quality problems, and there were some oil leaks, but they look like they've fixed that up. So keep watching for the full story, and also my dodgy camera work at the Australian unveiling early in March at Fully Charged Live event in Sydney, which I attended. So welcome to Electric Car Australia and my outdoor studio. I've only got a quite a small house so we don't really have the space for setting up a permanent studio and the young kids tend to churn stuff around and every time you go in it looks different. So I picked the front yard today so we'll see how we go. So let's get straight into the EV critical stuff. So the new MG4 that's coming into Australia has a 61.7 kilowatt hour usable battery. As I mentioned, that's the larger capacity battery and it is a nickel metal cobalt battery. So that will interest some people that it does have a small amount of cobalt in it. It's not the um, lithium ion phosphate batteries which are in the uh, smaller battery model. The quoted range of the car is 435 kilometers, but in the real world, you can generally take about 15% off those WLTP numbers. So that gives us around 365 kilometers of usable real world range. And that's across like an average mixed sort of driving. The efficiency of the car, again, mixed driving is 16.9 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. So it's sort of sitting in the middle there. The acceleration, now this one I think is pretty much useless to most people, but they always quote it, so it's 0 to 100 in 7.9 seconds. Now compare that to something like the Model 3 Standard Range Plus Tesla, it's at about 5.6. So as I mentioned, this is by no means a hot hatch in the um, performance area. The running costs of this little car, now of course if you've got solar at home like we do, and the majority of EV owners do have solar, um, you can charge your car for free if you can charge it through the day, or I guess for the loss of your feed-in tariff. So whatever that is, if it's five, 10 cents, um, you'll forego that to charge your car. If you're charging from home and you're paying grid rates, it's about $4.22 per 100 kilometers. Now I've worked that out on about 25 cents a kilowatt hour, which is what I purchase electricity for here in Queensland. And if you're ultra rapid charging, which is the most expensive charging um, out on the road, that'll cost you about $10.14 per 100 kilometers. Now the charging capability of the MG4, it does have a type two AC plug and it has a CCS2 plug for DC rapid charging. So they're the most common two plugs across the global EV industry. So the level one granny charging, that's your normal 10 amp power point at home. That's the portable EVSE that will come with the car. You can add about 11 kilometers of range per hour by using that plugged into a normal Australian 10 amp power point. Your level two AC charging, now this is up to 11 kilowatts. So this can be three phase charging. 
that'll pump in about 55 kilometers per hour and if you're on the level 3 DC rapid charging as I mentioned before 135 kilowatt is the um, maximum capacity of this car and that'll add about 450 kilometers of range per hour now of course the battery is not big enough to take that so the more useful figure is zero or oh sorry 10 to 80 percent charging in about 34 minutes now the all important price now the price has been quoted plus on road costs because we do have differences across the states within Australia with stamp duty and other taxes as well as EV rebates so the price is 47,990 plus on road costs now the dealers are taking orders for this car now and deliveries are expected over the next couple of months I did drop into my local MG dealer early this morning to see if I could get a bit of an update on that but unfortunately I was a bit too early they weren't open and for my Queensland listeners when we're talking rebates um, just yesterday it was announced that the Queensland rebate is being doubled from $3,000 to $6,000 uh, for a new EV priced under $68,000 so this car would certainly fit into that bracket um, so if you're in Queensland you'll be able to take $6,000 off that $47,990 price now some of the key features of the MG4 include a seven year body and battery warranty. Now that's also got unlimited kilometers so that's not a bad warranty. Of course there'll be some fine print around that but that's the headline figures. So seven years for body, seven years for battery, unlimited kilometers. So not a bad warranty. So hats off to MG for that one. This is a rear wheel drive. So as I mentioned, it's on the SAIC dedicated EV platform. So that comes in rear wheel drive, uh, which again, for those people that like that hot hatch type driving experience, um, they'll probably enjoy that. And it's got a 50-50 weight distribution as well. So again, good for performance and handling. The car comes with MG Pilot standard in Australia. So that's the assistive driving technology. And I'll put a couple of screenshots up there um, of all the bits and pieces that are included in that. Um, some of them are more handy than others, uh, but it's certainly valuable to have them. Also the MG iSmart app connectivity. So you can control certain functions uh, of the car via your phone app. It has a 360 degree camera. Now I have had reports that these cameras, the resolution isn't fantastic. So you could expect you're really getting the bare bones basic in that space. It has a 10.25 inch touch screen and that is certainly an improvement over the previous MG EVs. Everyone says it definitely is a lot sharper and more responsive. And it also has wireless phone charging and auto climate control. Now this is something that's been missing in the previous MGs like our MG ZSE Gen 1 model. Disappointingly though, MG have continued to save money in some of the, I would say, most basic areas that annoy me. So there's no rear vents through to the rear seats for rear passengers. And there's also only a single USB. So come on MG, it wouldn't cost much to put those in. Um, and they are really valuable things for drivers and passengers. And we've also got two ISO fix points for the car seats in the rear. So the headlights are a big improvement on this model car. So it's got auto dimming headlights and taillights. So great work there because the Gen 1 ZS EV was a little bit dodgy with the, the headlights. They'd done the job, but only just. It's got 18 inch alloy wheels. And of course they include a plastic aero cover. Some people will probably take those off, but they're there to improve the range slightly. It's available in six colors, and it also comes with the vehicle to load functionality. Now, people are loving this for camping, also backup power when there's a storm or you've got an outage, and it's got a 2,200 watt capacity. So you're going to be able to run multiple devices like fridges and TVs and all that sort of thing. And if you really have to run a high powered device, you can also run one of those. 
It does have a 500 kilo towing capacity, so that's okay if you want to uh, put some bike racks, etc. on. Interestingly though, there's no roof racks, uh, so these cars aren't approved to have any weight on the top, so no putting on your pod for camping. And it does have a five star Euro NCAP safety rating. Now I don't believe they've been tested in Australia as yet, but generally the Australian NCAP ratings are very similar. So it scores just over 80% for adult and child occupant safety and just under 80% for vulnerable road users and the safety assistance system. So when we're talking vulnerable road users, we're talking pedestrians and cyclists and that sort of stuff. So not quite as good in that space. So let's have a look at the size of the car. So it is a five seater, although as I mentioned, I have seen this car in the flesh down at Fully Charged Live in Sydney and it would be quite tight for a uh, third adult in the center. Um, however, quite comfortable for two adults. And by the way, I am looking to try to grab one of these uh, for a test drive and a proper review when my local dealership um, can get me one. Um, so click that subscribe button and the bell icon so you don't miss any of our future videos and you'll be able to see that one when I get to it. Okay, back to the size, boot space, 363 litres with the back seats up. So not huge, but it's a usable space. With the seats down, we've got 1,177 litres. So that's quite good. The length of the vehicle is 4.28 metres. Um, with the width of the car, with the mirrors out, is 2.06 metres. Height of the vehicle is 2.06 metres and the wheelbase is 2.7 metres. The weight of the vehicle unladen is 1.79 tonnes, so uh, reasonably heavy as you'd imagine with a EV with a battery in it and of course that's the larger battery. So that means the car has a maximum payload of 423 kilos. Now we won't get into this too much in this video, but these are things you need to be aware of because 423 kilos is not much payload. So you add uh, four adults in there and you're nearly going to be full up. You're not gonna be able to load much in the boot. Um, so just be aware of that. And that goes across all the EVs. And of course, I'll put the links in the show notes to where I got all this information. So if you want to delve into it a little bit more, by all means, check out the uh, show notes section and have a look at those links. Well, that's it for another video. I really appreciate you guys uh, watching. If you haven't subscribed, click that subscribe button. It really does help. If you like the video, give it a like and all those good things. Of course, if you'd like to financially help me produce some more videos and buy a bit more gear. I've had uh, microphone issues lately, so some of my audio has been a bit ordinary, so we're looking to upgrade some of that. I'll put the donation links on below the screen. And also, if you'd like some one-on-one -on -one personalized advice, I've got a EV information and consulting service. Um, so you can book a 30 minute or a one hour meeting with me. We can do it remotely, or if you live locally here in Brisbane, face to face. So I'll put the link to the website where you can book that below. So that's it. Stay safe, look after your friends and family, and I'll leave you now with a short uh, video from the fully charged live event where the MG4 was unveiled for the first time in Australia, mid-March 2023. Take care, cheers. Thank you, mate. Thanks, Robert. And uh, thank you guys for providing such a great platform for MG. And uh, we are very excited to be part of it. This is the first uh, auto show after 11 years in Australia. We are honored to use this, this platform to launch two of our new EV models and the same event for the first time. First, that is the long range EV. Following the success of the ZS EV launch in September last year, we launched our ZS long range today. ZS long range has the largest battery under 70,000 dollars. The current battery capacity is about 50 to 60 kilowatts. ZS Long Range 
is 72 kilowatt hours battery, an increase of 44% from front end ZSEV. I announced the MSRP for ZS Long Range in Australia is 55,990 plus ORC. In New Zealand, is 64,990 plus ORC. MT4, now is an exciting moment. I think most of you are here for the MT4. Thanks to its distinctive appearance, incredible driver performance, and smart technology. The new pure electric vehicle has already drawn nothing but admiring glasses with a series of major success. Euro five star income rating, scoring nine out of ten from top of Gale Awards. Car of the year and best value electric car by driving electric team. With up to 450 kilometers WLTP range, MD4 EV can charge from 10% to 80% in a little and 35 minutes. So traveling long distance has never been easier. We are up with the competition. We are very proud and confident then driving the MP4 electric takes you on the road to perfection. Now, thanks Rob, please Robert, let's show the car together. <laughs>